I got a phone call. It interrupted my video. And then I went back and like filmed for like five, seven minutes and then realized it wasn't filming. Hello beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I am going to share my TBR for the month of September. I get super excited to kind of set my goals and choose what I'm going to, to read. And you, the viewers, picked one for me. I have some a group read, a couple buddy reads, and my classic, my nonfiction. And I don't know what my new release will be because I will get that from book of the month later. So that's the only one that's actually not going to be featured in this video, but stay tuned. <laughs> I will be in a small group reading Hamnet. Uh, by Maggie O'Farrell. So this is a story based loosely off of a true story about the plague and a little boy who passes away. I think his parents are connected to the theater where I think the father is the actor who is starring in Hamlet and it's a very beloved theater story connection and I think that is where they got the name for their child. I look forward to reading this in the group. I don't know too much else about it, which is perfect. I don't like to know a whole lot, but this has been around on BookTube and got very good reviews, was even a favorite of several of my BookTubers that I follow. So I am very, very much looking forward to that. Looking forward to reading with my group. It's hosted with Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. So I will leave her link and channel below. I also will be reading The Wives by Taryn Fisher. This was the book that was chosen by my booktube viewer, so thank you. At least I hope thank you because this is the one that was kind of most kind of out of my normal reading. There are multiple wives and it is a thriller where something sketchy is happening to one of the wives and the other one's trying to figure it out and then there's some mysterious third wife and it sounds crazy. I was given notice by someone that there is sexual contents and triggers in this, which are not necessarily a problem for me, but that's a great thing to mention. I, I also will be buddy reading Colson Whitehead's The Nickel Boys with the lovely Shelley Swearingen. I haven't gotten a chance to read a buddy read with her, and so I am honored that we are going to dive into this book that is fiction but it's based on the nonfiction true story of an academy for boys that was very much not just doing justice it was very much outside he was wrongfully accused wrongfully abused it's going to be sad and and gut-riching it takes place in the 1960s in florida um so we thought that it would probably be easier to get through having a friend. If you're going through something hard and difficult, sometimes going through with a friend. So we look forward to diving into this. I haven't read Whitehead before, but I look forward to checking that out and to learning something that I didn't know before. For my classic of the month, not a very exciting looking book, but this is driving back into some childhood. This is Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. I have an even older vintage copy of this book that I actually read when I was in fourth grade, so it has been a hot minute. And as such, I'm giving myself grace the fact that I don't remember anything beyond Rebecca and she's on a farm. I don't remember anything about the story. So I found this copy at a local library sale for just a dollar. So I thought it's in good enough shape to read it and I'm going to reread that classic because again, I think a couple of these books are going to be a little heavy and intense and I thought my classic this month should not be and that that will be a fun, easy breezy revisiting of a classic that I really need to reread. For nonfiction, I am going to read my first Orphan Pamuk. This is his copy story of Istanbul so I look forward to the history and I have to confess I'm a little distracted 
if you will, from the Istanbul, West Constantinople song that gets stuck in my head. So I'm just disclaiming it and owning it, but I'm actually very, very much looking forward to learning more about this history, this culture. It was first put on my radar by an awesome um, yarmulke from Serene Sloth did a fantastic video on it with actual footage in Turkey that I will leave a link to that video below. Please check it out, give her some love, tell her she needs to film more. I miss seeing her around on booktube. I will be also in the month of September going to read Papillion. This was one of the books that was kind of on my spin list and wanting to get to and I tried a chapter and I decided I am going to read this book. So it goes on there as well as Mercy House, which is the kind of naughty nun story <laughs> that made my spin try a chapter, made the cut. So I'm going to read those two. I'm putting them on the TBR. Then I've been owning this small copy. I figured might as well throw an easy quick read in. This is Binti. It's just a fun kind of fantasy book that had gotten some popular reviews on booktube. I had picked up a used copy at a very good price and it's just kind of been sitting on my shelf looking at me and I thought this is a good smaller book to throw in to kind of beef up my numbers. And I will be adding my new release for the month. So that is a lot of great reading, a lot of anticipated reads, group reads, buddy reads, classic nonfiction. Super, super looking forward to that. If you've read any of these without spoilers, you can leave me a comment what you thought about them below. If you look forward to reading any of these or you're reading along soon in any of these, leave me a comment. I love, love chatting about books, what other people are reading, what you think about them. If there's other recommendations or if you've read this, read this kind of thing, help each other out, talk to us, have a fantastic reading month, finish out August strong, get ready for September. Oh, please, please let fall come. I'm ready for some cooler weather now that school is back in session, ready for some fall. Y'all have awesome day. Take care now.